Okay. There we are. All right. That was a little blip. All right. And the picture's live. We're good. The picture is live. By the way, week old crumb cake, not a good idea. Just letting you know. Mm -hmm. Not a good idea. Velocichungus is the first one and says, hello, everyone. Hello. How are you this morning? Or afternoon or evening, wherever you are. Brandy B says, good morning. Hey, Brandy B. Um, Forrest says hi, and Amelia says hello. Hello. And Tara Strong says hello. Hello, Tara. Bethany's here. Dalton Barnes is here and says good morning. Mushroom Cat's back and says hi. Hi, Mushroom Cat. Um, Lemony Mate says yes, I made it. Welcome. Oh, Do Stuff Girl is here and says hello. Hey, Do Stuff Girl. You're it's back. Been a while. Yeah. Time no chat. How are you? Uh, Julie says good afternoon from Germany. Good afternoon. Oh, is Germany. Hudson says good morning. I love pink so much. I know she kicks butt, doesn't she? <laughs> Seriously. Hello from Poland. Hello. Hey friends, how's everyone's Monday? I'm still on Easter break for a whole week, says Mark. Lucky good you. For you. And we have a Bethany. Did I say we have a Bethany here? So, hey, Bethany. So, yeah, so I decided um, <laughs> taking a, you know, coming off of doing the guild, I thought, well, let me try to answer some of the questions that a lot of you have asked me. And probably one of the most asked questions was, how do I do water, uh, colored pencils? So, I thought I would do a colored pencil drawing because I'm a little out of practice. Um, a little? A lot, yeah. You haven't done a full colored pencil drawing. I just realized I do not have a black colored pencil other than this one out of the set. So let me take How is this. that possible? Are you sure? Like, not in that whole thing over there? Oh yeah, I use them all. Black colored pencil? Yeah, black and white are all gone. Oh, wow. No, there's a bunch of white ones in that cup right there. Because I bought new white ones. Oh, I never oh, bought new black oh, ones because oh. I never needed a black one. Oh. I have a black one upstairs I, I, if you I'm want it. Fine, I got the 72 oh. set out. Pencil sharpener. Oh yeah, there's going to be a lot of pencil sharpener today, guys. A lot of pencil sharpener. So for those of you who it bothers your ears, um, I can't mute every time he pencil sharpens because just watch how often he breaks a lead. So... Just for the record. Yeah. Um, AB from YouTube says, hey, from the vast desert of the Middle East. Oh, well, hello. Let's see. Oh, um, SLC Cosplay Mom says, hi, I got the art supplies that you use and it's coming in today. Oh, that's great. With big smiley faces. Yay. Good for you. What are you going to make with your new art supplies? Hey, Jamie Brown's here this morning. Hey, Jamie. And Frankie Roth and Bisexual Cookie is here. Nice. Hello. Look at all of you. Um, Celine is here. Happy Eclipse Day. Yeah, it's um cloudy and raining where we are, so I don't know yeah. that we'll be getting anything really good with that eclipse. I saw an eclipse when they ha when we had it. Oh, 2017. 2017. Yeah. So I was like, ah, I've been there, done that. You're so funny. And it Nero, wasn't the spiritual it wasn't thing the spir that, that like Dan Pavenmeyer was talking about. How He's he, on a trek to go to I, Texas I, now I, or Wyoming or like, Minnesota. I, or I literally <laughs> broke down into tears and God yeah. bless him. But it was like, you I know what? Like, God bless him. I know. I, mean, I know. I think that's moment, great. You know? But it was like, it did not hit me no, the same way. No, no. I, there's not a lot that hits you, honey. No. I mean, you don't. Yeah, you're you're not like that. Um, congrats on finishing your guild painting. You did an amazing job. Thank you very much. Hi from Ghana. Hi from Bangladesh. Hello. Currently making a nose and eyes for my cat mask. That is meow mix. Nice. So I kind of think there's a theme going on there. Um, we have a Saroja this morning or Hello, evening. Saroja. How are you, friend? 
Coral Creates. How is everyone today? We are doing good, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna, I cannot pronounce your name um, to save my life. I don't know what those characters are. They might be, I don't know, Russian or, I don't know. Anyway, um, but your question, so many people have asked if you can do a tutorial on drawing a dragon. A tutorial? Yeah. I, you know, I... I'm just telling you. Yeah. So many people have asked... I don't have uh, a tutorial on how to draw any particular thing because anything I draw is just me looking at a photograph or if I'm drawing a dragon is looking at references of other people drawing dragons or whatnot. But um, like I, I, you'll never see me say, this is how you draw a cat. This is how you draw a dog. You know, it, that's, that's just well, not how my mind thinks. I don't have, I don't approach drawing like a car or something a certain way you know but yeah. i can say here's how you can like you can break it down into these shapes or whatnot but it's not a yeah maybe know. that's something that you could do then maybe you could say look i googled this image and here's some photo reference we're going to use and maybe you want to try drawing along with me today and here's how i would break down this picture of a dragon and let's draw it together and you could say, grab a piece of paper, and here we go. And you can yeah. show people how to how you would do it. I, I could look at it and see. I'm just, a lot of people have asked, because a lot of people really like dragons and, you know, um, I do too. mythical creatures and stuff. And so they've asked. And so I think um, I think it's, it's worth looking at. Um, you're going to have to describe as you go along how you blend the colors because people are already asking about blending. So um, I, I'm working on uh, Bristol paper, which is really strong and smooth too. So uh, what I do is I just, I lay down a light color, you know, just to kind of get something going. And then I'm gonna go in and add another color and I just kind of blend them together by pushing down. So I'm doing, I'm like, I'm going to add this little bit of blue for the whites of her eyes. And then I'm going to come in with the, I might even add a little bit of lavender. It's kind of like you're mixing the like paints mm -hmm. and then I'll blend them with the white and I'll push down harder where I want it to be lighter and not as hard where I want the, it to be not as light. Where you want the colors to show through more? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Emu says, oh my God, I went to the Sydney Pink concert. I love her songs and this is looking lovely already. You make plain look good. <laughs> oh, thanks. Yeah. Okay, Lemonimate. I don't know what a normal colored pencil is. They're asking, what's the difference between Prismacolor and normal coloring pencils? Uh, all the all the colored pencils are different. Um, I yeah. did do a video, like a, sh a bunch of shorts, on the um, where I tried a bunch of different ones. Uh, oh yeah, you did. You I did, tried the did. Karen Dosh. Uh -huh. I tried the it was a Derwent or uh -huh. Faber Castell, and um, I I love the 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 Karen Dosh. Uh, the, yeah, I thought they were wonderful, but. Um, Everyone just is different. Like one was harder, one was softer, one was. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can add a little bit of white from here. Here we go. Um, you know, it's just it's just the way that the the way that they're made. Uh, each one is made a little bit different. Is is really all it is. Okay, so I'm um, sorry. I did. <clears throat> Oh, Ryan's back and Ellen's here and says today's the day with a sun and a moon emoji. It's... Lula's here from the tea foundry. Hey, Lula. I have been following you, friend, and you look like you are doing so well at all of those festivals. I am so excited for you. Lula's been setting up um, booths at different festivals around New Mexico and beautiful display of all of her teas. Oh, that's great. Oh, it just looks stunning. Looks stunning. Your booth looks fantastic and so warm and welcoming. And I hope you're selling all of it because your tea right, is wonderful. So I'm just going to give her a little bit of eye kind of color here. Um, let's see. 
Um, think- oh, so when do we start naming the characters from your guild? Oh, that's a good question. Yeah. So um, I found a, like a website where you can actually add a bunch of stuff. Um, and so I was thinking of maybe doing that and having everybody kind of input their own. And then we maybe select, I select one of each. Um, I didn't want to feel like a competition though. So I, I kind of wanted to feel collaborative, but I also wanted everybody to kind of get their own thoughts in. So I, I'm still trying to figure out the best way to do that. And um, we'll let you know. Yeah, yeah. Just just give me a couple days. I also wanted to do a couple of other videos before I jumped back into the guild because I didn't want it to be like, you know, six weeks of only the guild. Okay. A Nero sent a tip and then wrote, this is for Donna. I missed the journaling stream. Oh. You are so sweet. You are so, so sweet. I uploaded it onto my channel. Um, so you can watch it there if you want. You can also watch it on Scott's because it's it's here too. But I'm so, um, <coughs> that you're so sweet. Um, I had a good time. It was fun. Um, Scott said everybody was interested in my tea journal, which I just find ridiculous um because i i it's just it's silly it's just pasting like tea bag things into a book so i didn't think it was any big deal but he said everybody liked it oh nixie is here hey good morning friend how are you oh coral creates wrote if anyone needs a tutorial on drawing dragons i would suggest bellasaurus she has a great tutorial on it. Oh, good. Fantastic. There you go. Yeah, you know, some people are really good at tutorials, and that's yeah. not really my thing. Um, you know, I I mm. I just I think I'm more about the the vibe of art than I am, you know, here's a quick tutorial on how to. Um but I I, I mean, if something comes to mind, I definitely will try. Well, I'm excited that somebody out there's done it. <laughs> Ryan says, I don't know about drawing a dragon, but I can recommend a movie on how to train your dragon. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. Um, okay. Um, Anne Marie is here. Hey, Anne Marie. Let's see. Oh, bisexual cookie says, I'm on a two hour bus ride right now and I want to draw, but it's so bumpy. Oh, yeah. That's got to yeah. be frustrating. Yeah. I can't write when it's bumpy either. That's no fun. Mm, so, Roger is doing good. How are we doing? We're doing good. Thank you. Let's see. I have not done colored pencils in, in a minute. Um, It's been a lot longer than a minute. Yeah. I need something a little bit more. Um, let's see. Oh, Della Daisy, you're not going to fail. I'm sure you're going to do fine. Cut yourself a little slack. Uh, New Rule says, first time joining your stream, who's talking in the background? Oh, that is my lovely wife, Donna. Hello. Um, Lainey the Bola Knight says, you inspired me to make my own dragon painting with my OC. Oh, that's great. I'm going to get on a call with my art bestie later today and start doing some thumbnails with her. That's wonderful. Mm, I love that you have an art bestie. That's adorable. That's like me and um, Kim. Exactly. I don't think I'd call Bethany my art bestie, but she's the one I am getting into trouble with all the time. Is there a trouble bestie? Hmm. Um, why do you not use the Karen Dosh pencils for this drawing? That's um, a good question. Because the Karen Dosh, uh, uh, two reasons. One, the Karen Dosh is three reasons. One, the Karen Dosh uh, is, <laughs> is a very limited set. It was only like, uh, was it 24 colors or 16 colors or something? Because they were expensive. Yeah, because they're expensive. Mm hmm. Uh, number two is I don't have as much experience with it, so I definitely don't want the very first time I'm trying colored pencils in a while to be with colored pencils that I don't normally use. And three is because they're expensive, I don't want to be using really expensive colored pencils and have people feel like it's an unattainable thing. Yeah, and you used the Crayola colored pencils before too. Yeah, yeah. 
Oh, and that, my friends, that right there is why you will hear the pencil sharpener shortly. Um, Scott, please make an art book. I would buy it immediately if you release one. <laughs> I, I may one day, but right now I'm I'm content with just the posters. Gail, good morning. Hey, Gail. On the art menu today is pink in colored pencil on Bristol board. Because why not? Because why not? It is Eclipse Day. I hope all of you who get a chance to actually see it because it's cloudy for us. I hope you love it and enjoy it so much. Um, little shop by the sea can't figure out whether to do acrylic paint or markers today. Can someone decide for me? <coughs> well, do markers. You're oh. never going to say do um, <laughs> acrylics. Like never, ever, ever. Let's see. Hmm. Lots of people are new here today. Time for the brush. Well, this is definitely, this is not how I would do it when I was younger. Um, I would just do the eye and kind of work my way out of the eye, but I'm just so used to kind of filling broad spaces now with color Yeah. that I'm kind of all over the place. Yeah, I noticed that because you never let put a layer down from what I remember yeah. and meshed it around. You're doing more of your watercolor or your gouache kind of a thing. Yeah. Actually, this is more like gouache because you always put that layer down with gouache. Yeah. Um, okay, citrus cacti. You're going to have to be specific because I'm looking at the desk and there's about 7,000 colored pencils over there. So which one did you want to know the number on? Or maybe we just... I don't know. Let me know which pencil you're interested in, and I'll I'll go over and grab that and tell you the number of the pencil. Um, this person says, I think rather than letting people tell the names and you pick, you should give names and let people vote on those names. People can add names on the feedback page if you well, want I was, that. Well, I was thinking of even just people helping with even just like the story, because everybody, there was a lot of people who were offering up, well, here's the history of this character, and this is who they are, and this is their best friend, and this is, you know... They were kicked out of their tribe and they did this and they went that. And I think those are wonderful stories for people to tell. And yeah. I wanted to give people a chance to do that. But I also did, you know, like if I'm going to say, okay, this is the one I'm picking sounds or at least feels a little bit like a, like a, like a contest or this is the best one. Yeah. And so I didn't know if I should do that. And then I would, you know, say, here, everybody give me yours. And then this is what I came up with. Yeah. Um, so I, 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 I'm still thinking about it. I, Because I, I, I like to think about this stuff in terms of how people are going to feel. Um, as, as, you know, like, I want them to feel like they're a part of the, the process. Sorry, I'm just making a little note. Yeah. Um, let's see. Oh, we talked about that Karen Dosh pencil. Tutorials are intimidating to approach. It's hard to know what's difficult for people to do and what's easy. Yeah. That is a true statement. That is very true. Also, I, I, I find... That. That there are no absolutes in art. And so to say that if you do this, mm -hmm. this will work, I, I, I can't speak in absolutes. Um, if you use this color plus this color plus this color and you do this in this, or, or if you draw a circle and then you do this, then you mm -hmm. have a cat. Um, I think it's a way to show how you can have a graphical version of a cat. Yeah. But cats are not... You know, they, they're constantly moving. They're different shapes and sizes and fur yeah. and, and, and expressions. and. Well, don't you think, though, like a tutorial could be seen as here's a way that that per particular person did it. And it might help you come up with your own way to do it. Yes. But, but I, I, again, <clears throat> there are people who are you know really good at it's kind of like saying drawing cats for dummies drawing dogs for dummies kind of thing. And I think 
there's definitely a it, it's you know like those books you know like shakespeare for dummies everybody who's a shakespeare connoisseur would say oh my god that is a hundred percent not what shakespeare meant with this and that's not what this means it's there's so many ways to look at art yeah, I guess. and and, yeah. and it's it's just so um tough to try to break things down into bite-sized chunks like that and every once in a while i'll have an idea and i'll go oh you know what like i said here's here's how i do i did a video a short of um drawing or painting clouds in under a minute and that was just like where i just and i just but but that's not how i paint clouds all the time that that's just like if i'm in a rush and i need to do this i could do that but you'll never see me doing clouds like that it's only if i'm out and i'm um i'm like oh i just need to just do a quick little dab Mm -hmm. right here and boom i get it i get it all right. Um, partner in crime. That was what I was thinking of. There you go. Yes, he has tried the Crayola colored pencils. Yeah, they were not very good. There's a short on it, mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the eclipse begins for us around 2 o'clock. No, it starts around 12.45, ends at 3.20. But it's full out here at 2.03. But I don't no, know we that don't we're going to... get gonna... the full one here. We get almost full. We get like 90-something percent. And that's around two o'clock. Okay. Our time. Um, one up girls here. Hello. Good morning to Rachel. Let's see. Um, currently coloring in a witchcraft coloring book. Last one um, was all over the place, but this one's going well so far. That's Good. Mushroom Cat. Let's see. Um, hi from California. So you see, I'm just adding a little bit of the highlights um, where needed with the white colored pencil. My sexual cookie goes, Scott, did you mean you haven't done colored pencils in a minute or in a millennia? Yeah. <laughs> Steph Nerd goes, 10 points to them. <laughs> <laughs> I love you guys. You're so funny. <clears throat> You are so... It's been about a year because I did that... It's been a um, while. Yeah, yeah, I did the test of the, where I did the Beatles, I think mm. maybe a year or so ago. Um, Zippo says, good morning, Scott. I've been drawing for eight years and the whole time I've been wondering, how do you draw art that's surprising? Every time you look at it, I've been feeling like my art is not good. Oh, I did that too and I still do. Um, I think, uh, what helps is trying something different. If you're feeling like your art is really not inspired or anything like that, try a different subject or try a different medium. Mm -hmm. Or do a little, uh, do a little field trip, go to a museum, you know, get your creative juices flowing. Let's see. So you see, I'm just kind of blending the colors. Oh, you guys are so funny. <laughs> Julie says, can we talk about the relationship of Scott and Donna? Those are couple goals. If my future relationship doesn't look like that, then I don't want it. <laughs> how do they talk How they talk of each other and respect one another? You, let me just put it this way. You would not have said that had you been in our house or a fly on the wall yesterday. Yeah, I mean... We are human, you guys. We yeah. are just... And sometimes, you know, we are opposites in so many ways. Oh my and God, that's so true. Donna is very volatile, and um, I'm an emotional being, and I am autistic, and so there's a lot of miscommunication. Mm-hmm. Of you know, I say something, and she hears something different. That's because and you speak incorrectly. All I know. The time. <laughs> so it's it's uh, you know. It, it is what it is but the yeah. thing is is this is the thing is no matter how much she's yelling at me or scream i mean when we were dating i i can't tell you how many times she took my <laughs> high school ring and threw it back at me and said i never want to see you again it was like, we were a little weenie head 
bed. Three times a week she would break up oh, with me. Oh, because you were and, just And I would be awful. like, I have no idea what just happened, you know? And and it was just... You never did. But That's the problem. I, I, I'm like, I, I just... It didn't matter because I knew I loved her and I knew I wanted to be with her. And, and so I would just kind of wait it out, wait for her to get over whatever she was upset about. And then we'd just move on. And, um, and, and that's, I mean, we've had some really big blowouts over 30 years. Yeah. And, and therapy, we've had therapy. And therapy. Couples and, therapy. And, but the yeah. thing is, is that um, what for me is it's like, yeah, you know, she's mad at me or I'm mad at her or whatever it might be, but mm-hmm. um, it's not going to change the fact that I love going, her. Like, not going anywhere. I, I don't yeah. believe that love is um, conditional. I think if you truly <laughs> love somebody, yeah. I think if you truly love somebody, um, there's, there's nothing that they can do to... This is a conversation we've had as of late. This is a conversation. We Donna have. Donna goes from I love you to you're dead to me in 3.5 oh, seconds. Oh, no, 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 no. There have been times throughout our time together where I've liked you very much, but I've always loved you. That's the difference. Yes. The difference is you can be very, very wrong in everything you're saying. And I can just be like, you're such a poopy head. And, but I still love you, even though you're wrong. But there are some lines, in my opinion, that you do not cross. And should you cross that line... You're dead to me. You're dead to me. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I don't have a you're dead to me. Well, my, you know, like, my I, you're I, dead I, to I, me lines are very distinct. That's it. <laughs> they, they just are. Uh, you know, it just is what it is. I mean, that being said, it's... It, it is what it is, you know. We but, we take each other for who we are, and, and the but reason we why we try to be better people. The reason why we're saying this is, if and when you do find your person, mm-hmm. please don't put them up against this uh, magical image of us that you think. Mm-mm. Yeah, don't. marriage is. Oh, it God. is a lot of work, but really, you have to both be committed to putting the work in because. Mm-hmm. You know, you, the more you get to know somebody, the more you live with somebody, the more you become uh, intimate with somebody, the more you're going to see all of their flaws, Mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. And the more they're going to irritate you. You have to be committed to saying, I I, I love you warts and all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And also you're going to age together. You're going to get older. You're going to, you know, have issues. You're going to have, and life is so hard, so hard that sometimes you, you just, I mean, you know, you have money problems or you have family problems or you have, you know, whatever it is. I mean, life is, you're doing every single thing in life with this person. Yeah. And you just have to be forgiving and you have to be understanding way beyond what you ever thought. I mean, you got to be a rubber band because otherwise you won't make it. And I guess for you and I, like there was no other person. There just wasn't. Yeah. I mean, I don't see myself with any other person like literally ever. And I'm 54 years old. Like if Scott, drop dead tomorrow, I literally would adopt five dogs and they would all sleep in the bed with me and that would be my the rest of my life. Assuming Huey Lewis wasn't available. Well, I think that was a given. <laughs> Hello. Now, if Huey's available, I'll push you <laughs> off a cliff. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, God. Let's see. Boy. There's a lot of comments going on here that we've missed because we were chatting. Um. <gasps> Lynn had the baby. Lynn oh, had the baby. Good. Maggie's here. Congratulations. Oh Did you send pictures? Oh, give Lynn a hug for me unless she doesn't want you to touch her, in which case just tell her I said congratulations. Oh, I'm so excited for you guys. 
for those of you who don't know, Mark um, and Lynn were dating when we very first started our channel and then they got married and now they're having a little baby girl and we're so excited for them. And isn't that crazy? Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Ugh. So excited. I mean, oh, oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm going to need photographic evidence of, of, of said birth. Oh my God, I'm so excited for you. That's so great. I hope Lynn's doing okay. I hope she's good. Um, let's see. I hope this is coming out okay. I think it looks great. All right, it just feels so weird doing colored pencils again. Um... Let's see. Jocelyn, what question would you like me to answer? Do you have a question you'd like me to answer? <laughs> Misty says, you're not the person I married. LOL, of course not. People change over the years. You just have to do it together. Yeah. So true. Then <laughs> Hudson goes, Donna over here like Pixar it didn't happen. <laughs> No, we know it happened. I just want to see the baby. So exciting. Um, let's see. I'm adding a little bit of, what is this color? Shrimpy, pinky. Karma says, violet. Yeah, thank you for being realistic. I need to hear this. Sometimes relationships aren't going to be perfect. I wish they were. Yeah. But they're a pain in the butt sometimes. They are. They absolutely are. Because people are a pain in the butt mm -hmm. sometimes. Bethany says, anyone that tells you marriage is easy is lying to you. It takes work to stay together. Preach it, girl. Um, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. He know he's a real artist when he uses colored pencils that are smaller than his finger and ready to be retired. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. All right. I think a little bit of... Dizzy Al says, it's the same with me and my partner. I'm very emotional and he's very aloof. Oh, aloof. Yeah, I don't know that Scott could ever be aloof. <laughs> oh, it was good, huh, Mushroom Girl? I'll have to check that one out. Book recommendations. Can you tell us about any influential experiences you had with art teachers? Um, mm. I, I had, when I got to high school, I had... Uh, an art teacher, Mrs. Johns, um, she kind of saw something in me. She pulled me aside and she gave me my first sketchbook and she wrote like mm -hmm. a little inscription in it. And, so um, sweet. yeah. And she just told me basically to draw everything every day. Mm -hmm. yep. And of course I did. And I filled it up with my original character that I just kept drawing over and over and over again. But, um, that was a really nice gesture. Yeah. Um, okay, <clears throat> a couple people have been drawing for a while and haven't been able to find their art style yet. There is a short oh, called um, uh, My Art is a Mosaic. Mm -hmm. I would look at that. I'm going to turn that into a longer video, though. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to call it How to Find Your Art Style um, because that, that be seems good. to be the question that people ask the most. Yeah. Um, but essentially... There's so many ways to, to develop your art style. You don't find it, you develop it. Um, and uh, I would say just find artists that you like and grab a little bit from them. Um, and you can see a lot of influences in uh, Scott's art style. I, I'm going to just stop you right here and say that is looking freaking amazing already. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, freaking amazing, dude. Okay. And oh, by the way, PS claimed already. Um, yeah, seriously, that is that is pretty amazing. And in case you guys haven't watched, every time he picks up a colored pencil, the little ends break off. I'm pushing down very hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'm sure you'll have calluses by the time you're done with this, too. Uh, because you're pressing down so hard. So I'm going to just a little bit of yellow to the skin. Um, let's see. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Let's see. 
Let's see, let's see. Do you have any tips for art videos like yours? Tips for art videos like mine? Um, I, I, I guess I would say make videos about things that you like. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think that art videos need to be educational. I think they could just be talking about your art. I mean, if you look at the, the Guild series, mm -hmm. it wasn't being educational. I was just talking about why I'm doing what I'm doing, um, what I love about it, and mm -hmm. uh, what went wrong and what went right. You know, I, 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 I keep going back to that saying, um, art isn't a destination, it's a journey. And I think if, if people can chronicle their journeys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Little shot by the sea. Finished organizing my desk and it's so nice to actually be able to find my art supplies. <laughs> oh. oh. Brandy B says, it helps to like the person you marry as the years go by. I'm lucky that I love my husband and like him too. Yeah. Amen, sister. You really want to um, marry your best friend. You don't want to yeah. marry someone just because you like the way they look or, you know, something like that. You really need to... Although I married you because you were supermodel quality, baby. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> you were so cute, though. Come on. But seriously, yeah. Best friend is a good way to go. I think we're watching pink melt into life. I agree. Seriously, you have a way with colored pencils. Honest to God. You really do. I, I, I don't see you it. You know what? Because... You're going to just shut up and take it. Okay? That's okay. what you're going to do this morning. Because it looks <laughs> fantastic. It just may bring some tear to my eyes because that was your wedding vows to me. Yeah. Just <laughs> shut up and take me, honey. Um... <laughs> do you... <laughs> Just shut, Just shut up, up and take it. <laughs> oh, God. Stop making me cry. That was funny. All right. <clears throat> yeah, let's see. Um, Casey Evans. I don't know what you mean by spiraling. Do you mean spiraling? They want to know how to stop yourself from spiraling. Spiraling. Spiraling with your art. Spiraling with anxiety. Spiraling with... I found that breathing really helps. Just, You've had good luck with that lately. Yeah, yeah. I, I never thought that it would work, but yeah. um, if you have an Apple Watch, I had an Apple Watch for mm -hmm. a little bit, and um, it has like a breathing app. If not, mm -hmm. um, just it's just you know you breathe in, you hold, breathe out, mm -hmm. you do that, and that really I did. It seems so stupid. It seems so. Why would this? Not, you know, and and yeah. it really helped. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's an app that's um, out there called Balance. It's for iPhone. I don't know if it's on... Um, I would assume it's for all the things. But um, I've been using that for meditation lately. And it's a really good app. And you can um, download it for free. They're giving away a year for free. And it's it's not a cheap app. It's like 69 bucks a year. But they're giving away an entire year for free. So you can at least try it and play with it for a year. And then if you can't afford it, you can just you know delete it. But... Um, it's been really great for breathing and there's one for anxiety and frustration and one for starting your morning. And, um, it's a thing. Meditating and breathing is a thing. Um, is it bad if I'm a girl and don't want to be a mom someday? No, no. Cause some people in my class said it's bad. I don't want kids. No, no, no it is not. No, no, you no. do you, you do not. And please don't. If anyone ever listens to me, listen to me with this. Do not do anything in your life because someone else tells you that that's what you need to do. Yeah. Just don't. I don't care if it's getting married. I don't care if it's having children. It I don't care if it's getting a dog. It is your life. It is your body. Yes. You do what you want. One what's thousand What's best for percent. you. So long as yes. you're not hurting other people, exactly. you are good. Exactly. Exactly. You do not have to do one darn thing because somebody else wants you to do it or expects you to do it it's ridiculous to think that your sole purpose in life is mm -mm. to be a mom that's yep. that's that is not um 
If that's something that you've always wanted to be, then God bless you. I, I hope that you are a wonderful mom. Mm -hmm. But the point is, is that you don't have to do you it. just being born a woman doesn't mean mm -mm. that your job is to is to, to have kids. Nope. Nope. Mm -mm. Nope. 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 And even if you're, you know, trans or you're what you do not have to have children. I don't care. Any woman on this planet, you don't have to do one damn thing that you don't want to do. Yeah. Sorry. Off my soapbox. <clears throat> okay. Um, Odd Audrey says, not married yet. Been engaged for five and a half of the 15 and a half years we've been together. I was diagnosed with autism last December. So now I'm officially, oh, autism, ADHD, but my fiance loves me difficulties and all. Oh. I bet it answers a lot of questions for both of you too. But I know it did for Scott and I. I know it sure did. And you know what? It just means that you guys can figure things out together. And, you know, it's funny. Scott got a new pair of um, ear pod, air, air things, what, you know, little noise canceling headphones. Thank you. Yesterday. And um, I had told him, I'm like, these are great. You should use these. And then when I was, I was out at <clears throat> running an errand and he tried mine and he's like, you know, I'm going to order a pair of these. I really like these. Yeah. And um, sorry, round one. And, um, yeah, good for you. I mean, I love it that you guys know and you can help each other, which is great. Um, let's see. <laughs> Frankie Ross says, I married my husband because he made me laugh and could do so even when I was utterly miserable. Mm. Yeah. 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 If you're, if they're making you squirt tea or something out of your nose while you're laughing, you're in good shape, I think. Mm, I just, I, I have wanted to do meditation for a long time and I just, um, started using that app and I know it is an expensive app, but they are giving it away for free for a year. So that's the only reason I started it is because I'm like $69 for all year. It's a lot of money. Hmm. Do you have a favorite pink song? I, I don't. I don't listen to pink. Uh, Donna does. I do. I do. I'll tell you my favorite song. I'll tell you. I have a new one every day. Um, because I started listening to her and I just, every day I have a new one. And let's see. Right now I am obsessed with, and I'm terrible at the names of songs. So bear with me while I find it. Um, when I get there. Don't listen to it unless you want to cry. But it's so good. Um, how do you draw everything every day? I've tried but get overwhelmed with the amount of details in everything. Should I start with simpler objects? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I've, I've got a... Oops. I've got a, um, a... A playlist of draw everything every day. You could start with that if you want to. That is just not going to erase, is it? Uh, but essentially you could spend as much or as little time as you want on, on things. Oh, so I'm sorry. I was looking for this thing that Donna got me. Hoping that this might. You might need large Marge. Yeah. I'm Let me hit sorry. stop here. Let me grab. Hang on a second, guys. I think we got to grab. No, I won't. I'm just going to show. Oh. Just pull the little thing out yeah. of it. Yeah, so if you're going to, what I do is, when I go places, I just sketch stuff. Mm -hmm. This is a little syrup thing. This mm -hmm. is a, uh, uh, you know, I think it was a forerunner or something like that parked in the garage. Um, a picture, uh, the doctor's office. This is P.F. Chang's, you know. Um, so yeah. I, 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 I. D these are just little doodles that yeah. take me, you know, five minutes, th less than five minutes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and, and I do that, but it gets me to, to, to draw shapes of things that I don't normally draw, mm -hmm. whether it be a car or a pitcher of uh, water mm -hmm. or a syrup thing, you know, and, and I think that's what you're training your eye to, mm -hmm. uh, your eyes and your hands to kind of work together. Mm -hmm. And that that's essentially what, what I'm 
talking about when mm-hmm. I when I say that. Um, do you think purchased art of other artists can be donated if we no longer want to keep the art at some point later on? That's humanoid. Yeah, I I think if the um, you know, you can always, that's your art. Once you buy it, it is your <laughs> art to do with as you see fit. Mm-hmm. Um, and I would say if you have the ability to um, give it to somebody or donate to, a, 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 again, it, it, it depends on if you're talking about art that is going to go into a gallery mm-hmm. or a museum. I, I don't know, or if it's just somebody's art that you happen to like, that you are supporting a, a Mm-hmm. you know a, a smaller artist but the thing is is that um if you could find a home for it and you find people who mm-hmm. would want it then i think that's wonderful yeah you can always resell the art too mm-hmm. yeah you can do that i've traded some art that i've purchased for art that i wanted more you know oh, like, yeah, i don't you really have. you know use this one mm-hmm. i think i'm gonna do, yeah yeah you've done that too um, I have book recommendations on my um, page of the website. Um, ben Cooler has the opposite problem. It seems like they've acquired a style they don't really like. Should I try to change this slash break bad habits? Yeah. Yeah. That's if you're not question. happy with your yeah. style, please go ahead and uh, pick up a new style. It's not that hard to do. Mm-hmm. Um, I Google, um, I go down a rabbit hole when I look for quotes. And so I Google like what I'm looking for for the day, like earth quotes, or I Google a certain person like Greta Thunberg. And I look, I just scroll through the quotes and I look for the longer quotes. I like to write the longer quotes. I enjoy those a little bit more. Um, This person, um, Lainey, wants to know if they should use color pencil or gouache for their dragon. I haven't used gouache before, so I need to find some good cheap ones. If I decide on gouache, should I stick with color pencils or try gouache? You can actually blend both if you yeah. really wanted to. Um, just, <coughs> just find something that makes you happy. Mm-hmm. That's really all that matters. You can use anything. Mm-hmm. Mm, let's right. see uh, i still think this is not great but all right i'll keep um, going well i think you're wrong um let's see i told you he always looks at his mistakes these are prismacolor color pencils guys yeah they're not oil pastels they're prismacolor colored pencils Does rewatching the lives help support your channel? Yeah, sure. I mean, if anytime someone watches something, it helps. Okay, see, it's not just me. Naomi says, thanks for being live. I can really see Pink's energy and passion through your drawing. You have captured her likeness. Well, thank I you. I told you so. <sighs> and now Naomi, she agrees with me. All right, well. Jamie Brown says, Donna, you married him for his hair, right? Shh. Hey. Back then, he had a beautiful mullet. Let me tell you, it was gorgeous. <laughs> Kevin, I have to laugh at that one. Um, um, Shloka says, I took a big break from art and love the feeling of doing art. And while I really don't know how to get back into it, what to do, what mediums to use, what should I draw? Um, I would say... Um the medium's up to you. If you want to try something new, try something new. As to what to draw, there's tons of things you could do. You can journal. You can do like a travel journal. You can do a daily journal. You can um, do just fill a sketchbook of Lord of the Rings characters. You can draw every Doctor Who. Um, you know, you could do. We did uh, 60 Days of Studying the Masters. I would go back and look at that playlist. See if that inspires you. I did the hair journal. I did um, the uh, 30 Days of National Animals. Just have fun. 
do do um, 80s music alphabet, <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. That's me just going, I don't know what I want to do, so I'm just going to do this. Um, let's see. Oh, Naomi's been using the Finch app. It's neurospicy, friendly, and free. I like free. What does it do? Up for meditation and stuff. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. Shrimpy wants to start their sketchbook, but they're a perfectionist. Love messy art at the same time. I think that's why I kind of stopped on art. You yeah. have to love you the gotta, good, the bad, and the ugly. You got to get of rid it. of perfectionism, though. You got to. It's going gonna, it's gonna to destroy you. Mm -hmm. The best thing that ever happened when I was doing my starting my quote journal was like a few pages in I wrote the wrong word and I got so upset with myself that I almost stopped and then I thought you know what if I stop everybody else is going to think that you have to be perfect when you do it so I crossed it out and I kept writing and it was the best thing I've done and I've done so many so many mess ups in my journal and you know what so what who cares yeah do you match the drawings in your travel journal or do you just draw what catches your attention? Um, no, I don't definitely don't match. I, um, I want every page to be different, a different experience, a different, uh, location. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, I, I'm 100% looking for something different. Uh, mm -hmm. on the same page, mm -hmm. I want them to, Kind of be a part of the same theme like mm -hmm. hey i'm at the zoo so i'm going to be doing zoo kind of stuff mm -hmm. jocelyn we do have a discord server when the mods answer questions just so you know um they are answering for us because there's a lot of people on here and they know the answers so they're helping us what is the difference between vellum board and bristol board um i think vellum board might be a little smoother is it like aqua board? No, 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 no. They're they're just paper. Oh, okay. It's just you know. Okay, okay. And and I don't think they call it Bristol board anymore. I think it's just called Bristol paper. Oh, okay. God, Scott's been drawing since he was six or seven. Yeah. But probably seriously, what in high school? Yeah. Yeah. Um, hi from the Netherlands. Hello. I love your art so much. You inspire me loads. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to come up with a color for the... Where's this thing? Let's know. see. Scott, I haven't watched your videos for a long while due to school and stuff. I want to get back into art. Can you recommend some ideas? Love your content. Um, yeah, journaling. Try journaling. Mm -hmm. Try the... There's a playlist of Draw Everything Every Day. Mm -hmm. There is a playlist for... Um, one minute figure drawing. Um, I would try stuff like that. Um, Lily, we have never set up art in a market like that. We've only no. done a booth, so we wouldn't be able to Comic tell you how to set up a stall. Is the only thing we've ever done. And, but talk yeah. to um, Fiber and Brimstone because they set up market stalls all the time, and that would be they would be somebody really great to talk to. Oh, Ryan says you can do some expressive architecture sketching. Go out into your town or city and draw cool and interesting buildings. Yeah. I love that idea. That's great. Um, the view from the Hobbit hole today is chilly it's and cloudy. cloudy. It rained this morning. Yeah, I heard thunder last night. Did you? Okay, I didn't hear that. But it rained this morning because I went mm. out to put the very last bag in the trash can and everything was wet. And I was like, really, people? It was beautiful. It was like 75 and beautiful yesterday. Spring is not my favorite season. It's it's just blah. What made you draw pink today? Donna has really been listening to a lot of pink. And mm -hmm. I needed to pick something. I was either this or I was going to do David Tennant. So I was like, mm -hmm. all right. Yeah. <clears throat> do you know a good place to sell your artwork online? I do not. Mm -mm. We used to sell on Etsy, but I would not recommend that anymore. Are there any videos on how to get started with Art Nouveau? No, there's really not. The thing about uh, any style is to just copy. 
I would just get a book on uh, Alphonse Mucha, and I think I have one on our website uh, under resources. I would I would just copy Alphonse Mucha and then start adding some of those elements to your art. Um, let's see. What time is it? It is 9.57. Oh, good. So I still got some time. You have lots of time. I'm working as fast as I can. I don't usually <laughs> work this fast. Um, me. Mary Elizabeth would like to know, where did you get that adorable little sketchbook? The sketch wallet. That was a sketch wallet. Mm -hmm. um, it, it just uh, Google sketch wallet. Mm -hmm. S-K-E-T-C-H-W-A-L-L-E-T. -L -L -E just yeah. like it sounds. Sketch wallet. And, and they have different sizes too, right? Yeah, that was, I think, the medium, maybe. No, that's the small. I don't know. The medium is is uh, bigger. It's like I got, I got the large originally, and it was really big. Uh, yeah, you couldn't fit that in your pocket. That bothered you. But and and that was the, yeah, that was it. And then, but yeah, this is the sketch wallet. This was the large. Mm -hmm. Is this big? Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so and, and I like the tanned paper. Yeah, it comes. Doesn't it come with a little pen too? Uh, pencil. Pencil. There you go. Yeah, which I didn't like. Um. Yeah. Um, your stream with Kim inspired me to try and draw a statue of Artemis, and I found love of all the little details, and I can't stop drawing. Lots of practice oh, is needed, though. fantastic. Yeah, that was really fun. You know what? Practice is great. Yeah. Don't ever put yourself down for practice. Practice is fantastic. If you could draw a scene from one of your favorite books, what scene and book would you choose? Ooh. Um, I think I'd like to do something from John Carter of Mars with Dejah Thoris and one of the Tharks and whatnot, but I was never able to kind of get that right. You always had a hard time drawing her. Yeah. I don't know why. You always love drawing women. Yeah, let's see. I want to start journaling, but as a teen, my thoughts change so quickly, and I'm afraid when I would read my journal in the future, I'll feel embarrassed. Any comments, Donna? Oh, you don't have to go back and read it. You don't have to go back and read it one bit. Mm -mm. You can write something and burn it if you wanted to. I have done that. I have written things on pieces of paper, and I have burnt them in the fireplace. My son said, Mom, what are you doing? I said, I'm burning this because no one in the world ever needs to read this. And he went, okay, here, let me help you. <laughs> <laughs> it was fantastic. I turned the paper upside down and he went, whoosh, and we torched it together. And he's like, what a great idea. Okay, I want you all to take notice when he's holding the paper down. Look at how beautiful his nail beds are. Okay, but... Can we just talk about how... Back to the journaling are? thing? Yeah. One thing I would say is, I think it's good if you look back on your writing and go, mm -hmm. you know, wow, I can't believe I said, you know, or what. I think it's good because it means that you're growing. It's not a bad thing to, to look at your older writings and what you were thinking and how you were feeling and... And um, I think it's it's a it's a beautiful thing. I'm not going to disagree with you, except that I am. Sometimes there are things that you want to write down to just get out of your brain. That yeah, but we're talking about journaling, not I'm writing a thing. We're talking about journaling, and I'm saying don't be afraid to journal and and and. What, what kind of journaling are you talking about? Yeah, are you talking about freeform writing? Slice of life. This is what I'm, you know, this is this this was what happened today. Some people might not want to look back on that. And, and some, some people, people you you write things that are very benign in your travel journal. 
I write things in my writing journal that if anyone read them, they would institute me. Okay. So there's a, there's a, there's a difference. In not what for anything, write. but it's not all benign. Every once in a while I could hit but 10 and but 11. Okay. <laughs> I have depth. Uh huh. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. I'm just going to leave that one alone. Um, yeah. Pink has the chin of a Greek goddess. She really <laughs> does. She's stunning. Um, let's see. Where are we here? Oh, cookie light soul. You're good. Um, there are so many boys that don't want to be dads, so why should all girls be moms? Just do what you want. Yeah. 100% correct. And Nero says, well, my best friend is 58 years old and doesn't want to marry, but my husband is like a part of my life. We are together for almost 12 years and I can't imagine being without him. Okay. So here's the best part of doing what you want to do in life. You get to do what you want to do. Yeah. You can be 90 years old, never married, and have a ton of wonderful friends and have a completely wonderful, fulfilled life, okay? You could be 90 years old and have 100 grandchildren and have had six children and whatever else. And do, You get to do life the way you want to do it. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It doesn't matter. You could travel. You could be happy sitting in your house. You could go to museums. You could read books. You could do sports. You could do whatever. You get to choose what you do with your life. That's the whole point of this. The whole point of this. Nobody gets to tell anybody else what to do or what to read or how many children to have or not have or whatever. Yeah. You do what makes you happy as long as you are not hurting anybody you just do you and enjoy your life. I'm 54 years old, guys. I never thought I'd be 54 years old. And now that I am, there are there's so many things I want to do and so many things I want to learn and so many things I want to... Having bo my boys was the best part of my life. I loved being a mom. And I'm putting that phase of my life behind me and I want to grab my husband's hand and I want to go see the world and do the things and love the rest of my life. I get to do that. I get to pick what's next. You guys get to pick. Don't let other people or society or anybody mm -hmm. Just dictate don't. who you are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How do you stop being nitpicky with your art and lose the perfectionist mindset? I've been stuck with this problem for as long as I've done art. Um, when Scott figures it out, he'll let you know. Yeah, it, it's, it's, you have to just learn to move past it. And that's what I'm trying to do too. You know, I, I'm, I never feel like my art is good enough. I never feel like my art is, mm -hmm. um, worthy mm -hmm. or, or, you know, like I, I see all of the mistakes, mm -hmm. but I'm learning to just, I, I, I've always been able to just keep moving forward, you mm -hmm. know, so I don't let that stop me. But um, it still hurts, you know. You still have those um, thoughts. Mm -hmm. Have you made a Star Wars sketchbook? Um, I have not made a whole sketchbook of Star Wars, but I have but done a lot done of Star Wars. Yeah, I think there's even character. a... A page of Star Wars mm -hmm. on our channel or on our yeah. website. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, Bob says, Scott, I watched a video of yours about alcohol markers and decided to draw a few characters, and they turned out great. Thank Fantastic. you so much for your videos. I love that. Didn't you do somebody from Foo Fighters? I did uh, all of the characters. Yeah. No, no, I did all of the members of uh, Nirvana. But yeah, Nirvana. I did David Grohl from Foo Fighters. Okay, there you go. Yeah, you did those for sure. Um, how can I draw with my imagination? 
Um, grab a pencil and paper and start drawing. Mm -hmm. If you don't like what you're drawing, then that just means that you have not drawn from real life enough to mm -hmm. draw what out of, you know, from imagination. No, this isn't the 90s band series. This is just something Scott wanted to do today. Yeah, we already did the 90s. <laughs> Donna preaching like crazy today. I'm on a, I'm on a soapbox today. Do y'all think it's normal as a storyteller to see and plan stories better in your head than written out? Every time I write it out, I don't like how it's written out. Not me personally. Um, I find that I can get my thoughts down better when I'm writing. Because mm -hmm. otherwise my, my thoughts are all over the place, mm -hmm. whereas writing seems a little bit more um, structured. Is there any long video of the painting of the girl with the pearl earring? No, I just did a short. Didn't, isn't that, um, let me try this again. Isn't there a live on that or did we, or is that when we were going live on TikTok? I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember either. That could I have been. I feel like that was live on TikTok. I think so too. I think it was live on TikTok, not live on, uh, Yeah. Um, oh gosh, Vishnuraj says, I've been drawing for like six months, but I never love my drawing and compare myself with others work like those really good artists and feel like I'm not good at all. Any tips for this feeling? Um, no, that's just called being human. Mm -hmm. You're, you're doing fine. You're doing fine. Just don't let it mm -hmm. stop you from making art. And just remember that all of the people that you admire, all of the people that you are in your mind not as good as are thinking the same thing the only difference is they keep going they keep learning they keep striving to become better mm -hmm. um you you're just human it this is just how we are and 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 uh, I, I there's no magical thing i could say to make you stop feeling that way because i still feel that way mm -hmm. and and so just please um Make art despite that feeling. Until somebody comes up with a way to get past that feeling, just keep making art. Mm -hmm. You're doing fine. Okay. So <clears throat> let's run through some of these really quick. Um, coloring books are awesome. Scott doesn't use them, but coloring books are awesome. He makes his own coloring books with pencil and marker. Um, I don't know, Colin, um, where you are in the world. So there's a list on our website of all of Scott's art supplies that he uses and supplies that he's tried. And you can see from there, um, uh, maybe something where you are that you can find. Cause we do not know prices or things like that, um, over the year, over, over the different countries. Um, and listen, as far as journaling goes, guys, if you want to keep your books, great. If you don't want to keep your books, that's fine too. Every single person gets to decide what they want to do. I have a stack of journals that are tied with a ribbon that my bestie has instructions when I am dead that they must then burn them to the ground because I do not want anyone reading them. I will never go back and read them. If you want to keep your journals to go back and read them, knock yourself out. That's great. Everybody gets to do what they want to do. That's the beauty of this, guys. There's no rules for this. Um, Sadie loves journaling, struggles to cope and focus. When I mess up, I feel like it's the end of the world. Oh, no, I'm telling you, I, I've been doing my quote journal, and I messed up so many times. And you know what? It's not the end of the world. Donna actually... It's not the end of the world. If you go back and you can look, Donna did a journaling uh, live on Friday if you oh, want to watch. Mm -hmm. And there's actually a page where Donna did the whole entire yep. page and then forgot to hit record. <laughs> so she had I to did. go and redo it. I, and, I have and, the quote written on two pages. Yeah. Like it's written on the left side and it's written on the right side. And, and the thing is, is that, oh, yeah. you know, that's, I, I don't, I don't understand. Um, and that's just me being at my age uh, about perfectionism. Because perfectionism isn't something that um, is possible. We think that other... And, and look at my latest uh, short uh, about the scars. 
Um, I finish the guild, and all I see is all the things wrong with it. But it, exactly. So on the one breath, you're saying, I don't understand the perfectionism. And on the other breath, you see all these mistakes and you wish that but you I didn't don't strive, make them. No, no, no. I don't strive for perfectionism. Okay. Then what you I'm need to be is, clear when yeah, you say that. Yeah. So I don't strive for perfectionism, mm -hmm. and you shouldn't either. But there we still go. see all of the problems with our art. But we just keep yeah. going despite yeah, that. Yeah, you do. You keep I cross it out art. and I keep writing. Yeah. What do you care? That's just... that's essentially, it's, it's, mm. it's, yep, not perfect. Nope. Yep. And, and that's why I have pieces that you, how many times have I, on, in a video, have I ripped a piece <laughs> up and thrown it away? You always make people so upset. And it's just like, nope, don't like it. That one <clears throat> isn't working. And that is fine. You, you know, it, it's, you can, you can, you can both not strive for perfection. You can know that perfection is not something you're going for and still not like your work and throw it away. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't have to be perfect. Mm -mm. And you can go, this is this is far so far away from perfection mm -hmm. that it is a horrible monstrosity <laughs> and I'm going to destroy it. Or And then there's everything in between. You are so funny. A horrible monstrosity and everything in between. Oh, good grief. Okay. Um, I think the kissed note is a cute idea. I think it would be romantic. I think it just depends on the person. Mm, I think if you don't like journaling and you're writing fantasy, go for it. Are you particular with your pencil sharpener? And what kind of pencil sharpener are you using? I am not particular with my pencil sharpener so long as it does what it's supposed to do. Which um, is what again? Sharpen. <laughs> Oh, Vanessa says, it is also okay to be a mom and also need time for yourself without guilt. Preach, yeah. girl. Seriously. And, and just for the record, taking a shower and grocery shopping by yourself is not time for yourself. Mm -mm. Um, yep, Audrey, I agree with you 100%. Jamie says, and sometimes life doesn't go as you had hoped or planned, but you have to roll with it and make the best of it while you can. Yeah. So much wisdom today, yeah. people. So, you know, the thing is, is Donna was saying so much of you can do whatever you want to, mm -hmm. and not everybody has that luxury. Okay. Donna and I, we, we struggle every day with the fact that there are things we'd rather be doing. Yeah. You know, yeah. we want to be making another movie. We want mm -hmm. to be doing, you know, traveling. With, and, and that's just mm -hmm. not in the stars for us right now mm -hmm. but we're not living a life based on what other people are telling us mm -hmm. to do you know but but just we want to be realistic you know because everybody goes follow your dreams and and yeah you know, and and definitely follow your dreams but not everybody gets the the privilege of being able to see their dreams come to fruition it doesn't mean to don't chase that but you know there's a difference between chasing your dreams and there was a um, interesting article I read last night in that O Reader magazine. I found a new magazine. It talks all about books. It's really awesome. Um, I got it at Barnes and Noble. Um, when I was mad at Sky yesterday, I went to Barnes and Noble. This is what I do with my anger. I buy things, <clears throat> books specifically. So anyway, um, this woman was talking about how she always wanted to be a writer. And she went to school and she studied literature and she did all these things. And she thought she was going to come out of school and write the great American novel and she was going to be published. And then she realized as she was getting ready to graduate, um, no one's going to hire me to write a novel right out of school. And I'm going to have to get a job that I don't like and write on the side. And she goes through this whole thing. She, you know, was having a hard time. Is this time. in a book? And, yeah. So no, she... this is a woman who was talking about this in her life. In, in a this, book? No, not in a book. She didn't write a book. At Barnes & Noble, a woman was telling you this? No, it was in a magazine. I told you. So it was you. in a magazine. Okay. And this woman wrote the article that was in this magazine. Okay. So do you see, do you people, can you see he does not listen to me? He does I was not just, listen to me. I was just going to point no. out the fact that she, she no. reached her dream and she wrote a book. No, she wrote I told you, I told everybody, I got this magazine and I was reading this article that this woman wrote. Anyway. 
she took a job that she didn't like out of college so that in her free time, she could write her novel. And she's been, she's not published and she's been writing for years and she has a website and she writes and posts things on her website and she's still trying to do the, um, Great American novel. The Great American novel. But she works a day job that she's not necessarily thrilled with. And it was like, it was just a very interesting article. And she said, I'm using my writing and my reading life to, you know, temper the fact that I'm in a job that I don't like. That kind of thing. Yeah. You know? And that was a powerful story. Bravo. Thank you. That's it. That's all I want. Why can't you do that all the time? Hello? Anyway. Um, anyway. There you go. I just... <laughs> Donna you never sticks to the landing of her stories. Yeah, I really don't. <laughs> I really don't. Okay, I... Just to be fair, you're the one who's supposed to be telling stories, not me, but you didn't know this one, so there you go. And I'm just saying, like, it's just... If you have to take a job and you, you don't get to do your thing, that was the whole point. That would, if you don't get to do your thing, that's okay too. Yeah. Lots of people have to go to work and do their job and, you know, and come home and then you can do the things that you love to do. Um, how do you feel about gifting art to your friends slash family? Oh, I do it all the time. Yeah, 99% of the time they ask. It's how I show I love you. Mm-hmm. It is indeed. I have beautiful little sketches of our boys. Um, you really did Pink Justice. I absolutely love her. Oh, thank you. Jamie says, and you traumatize your friends that liked the pieces that you tear up. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> 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 You're so funny. Mm. Let's see. You guys are funny. Can you show us the reference photo? Yeah. Let me... Any tips for dramatic lighting with watercolor? Find a photo reference with dramatic lighting and mm -hmm. copy it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There you go. Oh, NASA's going to be, one of course is NASA's going to be streaming the um, eclipse on YouTube, a much safer way to watch it. I didn't know that. Thanks for sharing that. That's great. Um, let's see. What is the most mischievous thing you've ever done in your life? Oh, well, for gosh. me, it was marrying you. <laughs> Uh, I've done some really stupid stuff when I was a kid. I, I, I mm. gosh, I stole hubcaps just because I thought it was cool, you know. Um, steal stuff from grocery stores or whatever. You Did know? you really? Little candy bars and stuff, you know. You little thief. We used to dare each other to do stuff, you know. Why on earth would there you was, do that? Yeah, I, I grew up in Florida. There was a crocodile infested canal. I dare you to swim across it. So I did, you know, stuff like that. Wait a minute. Who would have dared you to swim across a canal with crocs in it? Any. 12 year old kid would have dared another 12 year old kid to do something like that i would never have done that that's just stupid yeah stupid was oh my god what 12 year old boys do oh my god and you wonder why i hovered over our children so much you wonder why i hovered over our children so yeah, much yeah because you were really dumb i Holy knew what they were moly. capable of good grief um, no, it's not bad if you can't stand journaling. You do you. Yeah. Scott doesn't really journal. He paints and then he writes maybe one word. You don't have to... Listen to me. Please hear me. Do what makes you happy. That's all you need to do. Do what makes you happy. Um, does Scott have a preference for sketching, inking, or coloring? Or one that he finds the most fun? 
I think the coloring part is the is the most fun. Yeah. I, I find the sketching part the most stressful because, you know, I'm trying to get my proportions right and the likeness and other things. What is the point of journaling? I don't get it. Um, I think the point of journaling is to um, write and also to kind of just get your memories down from the day. I... I think for me, it's a way to clear all the cobwebs out of my brain. Um, it helps me process things from the day. I don't know if that makes any sense, but it's like telling a trusted friend who's never going to talk all the things that are going on in your head. Talk never. Fiber, Fiber and Brimstone says five finger discount only from big box retailers. We support small businesses. Shh. Oh God. Let's see. So, Bethany, most mischievous thing I've ever done. I'm going to plead the fifth. <laughs> so, what were you going to say? I was going to say, um, this is, as you guys can see, really loose, really rough. I'm not spending a lot of time on it. But um, when I was doing you know, covers for Star Trek and whatnot, I would, um, gosh, I would spend hours and hours and hours just on each little part getting it just okay. right. I'm just, I, I think it's stunning. So. I, I appreciate that. I'm just saying just. It's not um, loose. It's not rough. It's beautiful. And I will hear nothing of it. Uh, we're usually alive for about 90 minutes. Yeah. What time is it? It is 1023. Yeah. So we're almost done. Yeah, we're almost done, which is great. And, uh, I didn't think you'd be able to finish a colored pencil sketch I, I today. I didn't think so either. After but... how long it's, you know, it's been since you actually did an entire colored pencil thing. Yeah. I really didn't think you, because I know how you like to noodle them, you know? So. Yeah. See, Cookie Lighted Soul says, I feel like personally I clear the cobwebs out of my brain and regulate my thoughts through meditation more than journaling. There you go. That's great. Everybody can. This is the great part about life. There are so many things in so many ways. It's like art supplies. You walk into the art store and they have notebooks and they have paper and they have paints, like 4,000 billion yeah. kinds of paints. And brushes and different, different people can walk out of an art yeah. store with different materials. Some are sculpting, yeah. some are you We've know, done that journaling. With our mods. Some are, Everybody yeah. had a bag of different supplies. Yeah. And it was great. Absolutely great. There's not one way to make art. There there's isn't. not one way to process things. Process things. No, there's not. It's absolutely fantastic. Bye, Jamie. Have a good day. Bye. Yeah, I, I don't know what to tell you about supplies in India. Everything over there seems to be really, really expensive. Um, we've tried to work with companies like Grabby and whatnot to um, get stuff even, you know, um, more reasonably priced things in there. But it, it is just very difficult. So I don't know what to tell you. And I don't know what the Prismacolor prices are in all the different countries. Um, I can tell you what Scott uses and you can look it up in your country and see if you are able to, um, to find it there. So. All right. So before we go, I'm going to show you one last little trick that I do. Uh, and that is, um, when I have to do like large areas, mm -hmm. um, colored pencils are just too tedious. Yeah, they're like really my hard. hand is already starting to hurt. Yeah. Um, so what I do is I just kind of get uh, just the, the general color kind of out here like this. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to come in with markers. And the alcohol markers will blend hmm. the colored pencils. Really? Yeah. 
But the colored pencils are waxy. Yeah, the alcohol and the wax just kind of um, blend together. So Really? <sighs> Watch. Intriguing. Huh. Learn something new every day. And I've been with him for 35 years, so go figure. So Gail says, maybe it's because get... you're close up, Scott, but this piece is photographing incredibly well. It's so smooth and buttery. Oh, thank you. Gail's been watching you for a long time, babe, so. So look at this. I'll be doggone. So it picks up so on let me, the colors. Let me ask you this. Why don't you start with the marker around the edge? Why do you start with the colored pencil then? Um, because I still want it to have a colored pencil -y feel. If I okay. the color the, the markers are gonna look like that. It's not as I couldn't see that, honey. It's too far at the top. Oh, okay. You see what I'm saying? It's very, you still see the paper through it. Oh, okay. I want to I don't want to see the paper. I want it to pick up on the colored pencils. Okay. So it's the blending that you're going for. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Do you consider photography an art form? Oh, 100%. Yeah, there you go. <coughs> um, well, you guys have two more minutes. Does anybody have any uh, other questions before? Let me know. I think this just came out stunning. Yeah, me too, Snea. Learn something new every time. Seriously. Learn something new every time. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, and I could even blend these. Um, Kazumik said, Scott, if you see this, <laughs> I'm seeing it. Um, they stopped drawing four months ago and just started to draw again, and it made them happy. Oh, I'm glad you're making art again. I'm really annoyed at my art teacher. She's refusing me to allow me to take art in my later years of high school. How would you approach this? Um, is there? I don't know. What, what was the reasoning why they refused to let you take art? Yeah. Is it because academically you 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 need to take other classes? What's your favorite art medium? I'm pretty happy with watercolors and inks. I'm just going to, I've said it several times and I'll just tell you again. I can't tell you what is the most affordable product in whatever country that you're in. We have friends here from all over the world. So go to Scott's resources page see the things that he uses and see if you can find those where you are it you know for a reasonable price or something comparable Look at that. for a reasonable price wow well honey you're pressing really I hard wasn't, i wasn't i genuinely wasn't um scott will never try oil pastels again and he probably won't ever try oil paints There is a video on art block and how Scott deals with that. I just think this came out so great. It looks so good. Oh, thank you. Thank you guys for hanging out with us. Yeah, we appreciate it. We can't um, see what you're drawing now because the paper's up too high. There you go. Okay. I will yeah. um, try to turn this into a video today or tomorrow. And yeah. then. Um, Meanwhile, we'll see. I'm going to the allergy doctor today. Yay. No, not yay. Boo. Not looking forward to that. Um, yeah. So thanks for being here with us this morning, guys. Yeah, we loved hanging out with you. And we will see you on Wednesday. Wednesday. Yes, because it's Monday now. Gosh, I can't yes. even, my days are all running together. All right, guys. So thanks again. And we will we'll just see you on Wednesday. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye. Bye.